Look, look, everybody, I, I don't know how to say this, but I know that there is somewhere, somehow, a combination of lines, of tones, of shapes that I can, I can squish together somehow. I can, I can add them one after the other and combine them in some wonderful amalgamation in the melting pot of my mind and pen on paper and make them into one work of art somehow. Uh, and they'll be amazing. You know, it's just... It's just a, it's just a matter of time now, a matter of putting in the hours and experimenting, uh, and and finding that right combination of artistic elements until I create the ultimate work of art. I, I, yeah, the the ultimate, the you know my my crowning glory, my holy grail of of artistic achievement. Maybe hopefully though it happens like one day before I die, and like. A thousand years um because i feel like if you make like the best thing you've ever drawn uh you know when you're too soon then it's just all downhill from there i'd rather be going uphill forever each one being you know each thing you make being like a little bit better than the next if you make something too incredible uh right away uh then you're just kind of coasting downhill from then on you know hmm. and then if you you know, you make something incredible right away, and the next thing you got has to like live up to that expectation too. Uh, so, I don't know. That's that's why you got to be, be be satisfied with, um, be satisfied, be satisfied with being unsatisfied. Yes, if you're unsatisfied with what you're making, just use that that little bit of frustration, that little bit of unsatisfaction as fuel to keep moving on to the next piece of art, the next whatever you're making. You know, whether you're making quilts. Or, uh, you know, like little paper mache sculptures or stuff out of Sculpey Clay. Maybe I will mess with that sometime. We'll see. You know, I did make, I did mess with Sculpey Clay sometimes when I was like a little kid. And I have good memories. I also have good memories of Play-Doh. And they had these little pumps where you could like squeeze the Play-Doh through little like shapes. And it would come out in like crazy little spaghetti. Anyways, and you could combine, you could mix like yellow and, and blue. And you could mix all the colors that came in different can canisters and make brown and ruin everything anyways so uh don't be frustrated if you don't make the perfect work of art if all the crazy beautiful wonderful fantastic uh you know in incredible ecclesiastical you know world ending ideas you have swirling around in your amazing brain don't be too too discouraged if you can't get all those down on paper right away or ever because if you could suddenly, you know, think about it. If you could suddenly become the perfect artist, if you could suddenly achieve everything you ever dreamed, uh, I mean, what would there be left to do? There'd be, there would be nothing to work at anymore. So uh, just keep tinkering away at it. Enjoy the process of, of working through your artistic journey. I think it's uh, it's fun to watch yourself grow and and work through it all to look back at what you've done before. You know, just you know work for work at it for a year. I mean, don't think about it as a year, but look. You know, you probably you might have been drawing for a year already. You might not have, but look a year ago, and you probably have be able to notice uh, crazy progress. Maybe not. Sometimes not even progress, but just change, a change in style, a change in the way you do things. I think it's cool. So don't get too bogged down. Get bogged up or or something. Hmm. Huh. You can do it. You you can. I, I I believe I believe in you. I don't know who you are or what you've done with my daughter, but I have a specific set of skills and I will draw your wanted poster. And they won't look anything like you. Um, look, guys, uh, this one I used, you might notice that I, there was part of this drawing where I wasn't drawing lines. I know I usually draw lines, but I got to part of this drawing and I thought, this drawing looks like everything else I've ever drawn, so I'm just going to start splashing ink around on it. So, it was, so it became kind of like some sort of ink wash, sort of, just like I got frustrated. I was like, I'm just drawing lines. And so then I started just splashing ink around and it became extremely fun. And I had a great time, and then I kind of drew some more lines on top of the ink washes, and I don't know. So you know, don't get it's it's fine. Don't 
just, and it was terrible paper for it. Like this paper was intended for, I'm pretty sure intended for just drawing with pencils, you know? So this paper was terrible and not intended for this. It was soaking up all the ink in the wrong ways and, but it doesn't matter. Just do what you want. Explore, have fun with it. Don't let anyone tell you which, which art supplies are for what or how you should draw things this way or that. Just slap stuff around, put this on that, see what happens, have fun. All right. All right. Thanks for watching everyone. Goodbye and I love you.